Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike at Sunny Slope and today we are gonna clean out the old chimney stack to the wood burner in the barn here and uh, well it hasn't been cleaned out in about two years so we want to make sure we don't have a crew so fire and uh, I bought this little nifty contraction that I want to try out because I've never done this ever so it's gonna be a new learning experience if uh, if you haven't seen this done before and I don't know how dirty I'm gonna get but let's get to it we purchased this little oh it's upside down we purchased a little cleaning kit uh, that I saw at the hardware store, and uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see if it works. It's got like little plastic uh, whiskers on it that you put on a drill, and you just kind of run it up the chimney stack. <laughs> My chimney stack is pretty uh, straight up. There's no turns and much um, on that. But when you get into the shop, there is some different angles. Now, there is a reason why I didn't put or install 90 degree uh, pipes or joints or whatever you want to call them to my stack inside the shop because I knew eventually I was going to have to go and do this one of these days and I didn't want to have to fight that angle going in and out and destroying the joints of this uh, of this chimney stack. So so I was walking the shop here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Whew, don't mind this. I haven't really used this wood burner much this year and I was cleaning it because I put a new seal on there and stuff. And I was exploring like on how to clean this up. But nonetheless, as you can tell through here, I put gradual angles in 45s. So when I bring my sweeper in, I'm not hitting a 90 and then putting a lot of pressure on the back side there to make it go down in this direction. This will be a smooth transition. This will be a smooth transition down in here until I get on top of the flue down here. And uh, I'm not sure. I think this is yeah this is a little bit of ash but we'll put some cardboard down in there so we can see what it looks like or what's what's coming down on the other end and uh look at my nice seal there yeah old one gave out so let's open up this box and see exactly what we got uh the picture is always nice Ooh, bright light the picture is always nice but uh let's see what the inside looks like and how it's packaged all right let's open this bad boy up see what we got I always love opening this stuff up. Warning, oversized carton may exceed 25 inches once. That's weird. I don't know why they put that warning on there. Oh, we're probably gonna need that though. Oh, there's foam in here. So we got some poles here and uh, they should flex uh gosh i hope they do flex otherwise even with those 45 they're not gonna do us a bit of good oh there's the guy that does all the work right there so is that everything box is empty we're gonna save that box because we don't we don't want to burn it because we're gonna put this stuff back in it when we're done So if you guys want to know what this stuff is or this material, it's the exact consistency identical to a weed whacker, um, the little strings on it. So you look in here, it is octagon shaped. I don't know if I can get that to focus or whatever, but it's exactly that material. And uh, well, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work. Oh, instructions even comes with bags wow we don't really need a bag because we're not working inside anywhere where we care uh enough if they get dirt got dirty or not but it's always nice that they got little bags and stuff so the chickens are loud today not really much to this guys I, i'm not really sure why it requires an instruction manual that thick uh, but it gives you vacuums, tools required, I guess, apparently, uh, uh, yeah. All right, so these rods do bend, and it shows you how to put them together. Uh, they're telling you the different degrees are not recommended, and look at that. The one of them is a 90 degree. Let's see if we can get that on camera there. This is the, yeah, just want to make sure it wasn't on the Spanish side. So 
you could tell they say don't do this right here and the very last one this one right there that's the correct way that's the reason why you don't want to put 90 degree bends in your chimney stack your smoke stack uh there's nothing wrong about doing it but you want that airflow to be as smooth and restricted as possible I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to be an expert on this, but uh, I just know that's what made sense. So I'm not going to tell you you can or can't. This is what I've done. All right, let's see here. Got a little pointing tool thing. If I read the instructions, I'll probably tell me what to do. Uh, oh, look at that. Already found the reason for it right there. It's got a little push lock pin. Perfect. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was telling, telling the folks there. It's like a weed whacker thing. It's like a weed whacker. Walking it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these things are good. Really good. No. All right, so each one of these has a spring loaded connection there so i was really thinking that these were all allen wrench so you had to put all this stuff together allen wrench style oh uh, that's thank god that's not the case that takes forever so i imagine this is what goes in the end of your drill got the trusty drill here oh just the right size too lucky me so that goes in the drill we connect all these up this obviously goes on the end here Man, the chickens are vocal today. Yeah, and then, them. Let's give a little demonstration real quick here. So that's the male side going in the female side here. We'll put it on the drill. I use it in the toilet. Yep, so here we go, just like this. Hey, come here. Want to try no, it? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Oh, man. That looks cool. All right. Yeah, it's like the logo. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Pig. Spider-Pig. Doing whatever a spider-pig does. Spider-Pig does whatever a spider-pig does. All right. Now we got this awesome uh, unboxing out of the way. Let's go and actually, you know, clean this chimney out. Ready for it? The nice part is I have a nice little access when I bought the, the, the stack for the outside, the chimney. I purchased one that I could take the bottom out easily and run these pipes straight up and down. And yeah, uh, now I bought it for that reason. You know what I didn't cover is how many feet this covers. Um, Could you do my watch? Well, do 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 do. He's six foot six. There's six three foot sections, Wyatt. Three, How three, long in nine, total would that be? 12, 15, 18 feet. 18 feet. God, I was hoping to get it wrong because uh, he's on a roll. And what grade are you in? Eighth grade now? Yeah. Here in Nebraska, we start them times tables in a uh, freshman year of high school. <laughs> Let's go clean this chimney. Ooh, set it up underneath the chimney there. Now it should just spin right off. Oh man. Oh, you don't say. Folks, I believe I had a wasp nest in there or something. So I pulled this cap off, and there's all kinds of critters in that cap. Cooked alive. And yeah, they look like, I don't know, like like wasp. Crazy. Yeah, there's a couple hornets in there and stuff, but yep, yeah, that's it. Let's take a look up that pipe and see how nasty it is. <laughs> And my son was saying, he's like, oh man, this is a nice little warm area. Oh man, it's getting a little warmer. It's getting a little warmer. And our son, ah! Let's look up this pipe. Oh, 
like it. Can't see nothing. Kinda. It doesn't look too bad, actually. So, let's get to cleaning. Let's see how well this tool really works. We don't have 18 feet to go up. So. 12. Yeah. Those are three foot sections. And there's four of them. 12. Yeah. Grab our little tool, did you? Did you? Oh man, look at this kid. He is on it. All right, so I'm gonna use our little tool there. See how well that works. Like a charm. So we're gonna put this here. And uh, why don't you grab me some rods? And we probably don't even need the ladder since we have 18 feet of awesomeness poles. There we go. See how I use my third leg to get that uh, attached on? <laughs> <laughs> Safety glasses. I don't wear them much, but I'm gonna wear them on this one. See, I, I do own a couple and uh, they get used and <sighs> this pair has fly poop on it. Mm. Yeah, <sighs> I think that's fly poop. Man, yeah. Oh boy. That is something else. Oh, oh, oh. 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 oh man, it is everywhere. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it is dirty. It's all me pals. Oh my god, it's still flying in there. Oh man. Oh my gosh, that is look at that. Look, that is the reason why. We need to do this because of that right there. Yeah, my face is horrible. In fact, I think we need to get a mask when we do this. And I need to get you guys a little further back too because it's about, it's about to get dirty. My, my son says I look like Rambo with all this black stuff on my face. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set you guys back somewhere else. I don't know how far. I don't know how far we're gonna set you. But we're gonna get you far enough back where you can get a good view. And the wind is blowing, wind is blowing towards us. So we're gonna put you over here. All right, so it's already dirty. I only got the first stick in there. So I, uh, I just hooked them all up because I could stand back and get enough leverage to just go straight up and it's gonna get nasty. So let's, let's get it done. I even get to stand back a little bit. Hey, why? I need to go up there and push this thing up. Are you? Really? Well, I'm not getting a. Oh, there it is. Oh. Eh, it's coming. Give me oh. another stick, bud. What? I hit the top. Oh. Is that all you got? Scott? Put it on low. Crank it on low. Number one. All right, give it a go. Oh, that's oh gosh, dang. Oh my gosh, everything is black. I am disgusting. Everything is disgusting. So, there she is. She worked out pretty good. 
I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these just for doing the little bit I did. And uh, at least I'll do this every year knowing that it's this easy and next year it won't be this bad. But needless to say, it is a nasty, dirty job. Yeah, put those on. Hey, I was wearing them technically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. See you guys.